What's up everyone? This is Eamon from TUC77 right here and welcome to the first video. And this is the first video on my channel. Anyways, of course, um, if you're watching this and I'm still having one video, of course I'll be having some videos in the future. Um, I'm going to be making what, like one or two videos per week. And of course, there will be Rumor War, which is the tech, tech news. Yeah, um... And yes, I'm from the Dark Paper 77. I left that channel. No one's there right now. Like I was the only one. But I flipped the channel for some reasons. And right now I'm gonna be showing you how to make your phone look like a Galaxy S3. I already did it on my last channel, but this is the full edition. I'm gonna make it all in one and I'm gonna delete it off my other channel. So right now let's get started. I don't know why I have the iPhone lock. I was using um I was just trying out the um the spear launcher, which is just like the iPhone. But it's n it's not no biggie at all. I I wasn't really impressed from it. Like, why would I make my phone look like an iPhone? Like, all which I, when I'm on my home screen, all which I'm doing is just well, I'm swiping between my my thing, my things. Anyways, right now the first thing um this this will not require rooting, okay? But the first thing will require a root like and a custom ROM installed, okay? Here's the first thing. You go to settings and then go to your themes. And then there's the touch with 5.01. Just apply it anyway, okay? This is the touch with theme right here. It's gonna be applying, it looks really nice. Um it gives it more like um touch with experience. See right here, now it's all touch with. My settings is touch with mostly everything right now is touch with. Anyways, now you're gonna see this right here. Um, you're gonna have this. Now, when you click on this, you'll realize that there is like, hold on, let me see if I can make my brightness a little lower. Yes, I need that a little lower. Um, you see, like you see the old one. If you see that, like when you click on it, you see the old, the old one. All what you need to do is go to Nova settings and restart Nova Launcher. Okay, just restart it, and now it's gonna restart. Anyways, of course, in touch with you gotta um, you got to um, make the app draw on the very very right. Of course, and five icons right here. I'm gonna just make a backup, a Nova backup, and then y'all will restore it. Anyways, go to that jar, um, and the jar transparency must be about 75%. The jar style should be horizontal. The jar grid, which should be four by five, five by four, four by five. Um, jar groups and whatever here, you don't need it. Widgets and draw this requires root. It's not really so important to have widgets in your jar. Desktop grid should be four by four. Um, this right here, this is of your choice. I really like the jelly bean one, and the home screens. You're gonna add like two or three home screens, okay? Um, I'm just gonna be designing the home screens, and you could just go ahead and design them by yourself. Anyway, so right here, we're done with the Nova thing, and if you if you'd like, if you um, uh, if you want to change the look and feel. I'm not really sure if you want to change it because like it doesn't have anything wrong with it. Like the team's white should be always white. Okay, and and um, then just go back. And here's like touch with right now. Okay, same thing as touch with. Um, most of the touch with exclusives include um, go to um, this widgets. And then you play, if you want it just like the Galaxy S3, make it the small one. You could just, of course, resize it right here. You could just resize it with Nova Launcher. By the way, I forgot to tell you, this is Nova Launcher. See, it's Nova. It's called Nova Launcher. Uh, and it's really working so nice. It's awesome. So fluid. And if you're below Android 4, to, this is uh, this is only for Android 4.0 and higher. If you're below Android 4.0, then download a ADW launcher. Anyways, right here, just add a camera, camera, and Flipboard and Facebook, whatever, whatever they have in touch with. 
and some stuff. Okay, you just add some stuff. You add some widgets. Three three screens are is always the best because you don't want a whole mess on your screen. It's gonna be slow. Well, your phone might not be slow if you're um if you have only three screen or more than three sc screens. But right here, I got a five twelve a megabyte megabyte yeah, five hundred and twelve. So yes, it might be slow. Anyways, when you upgrade, when you restore my thing, when you restore my Nova backup, um, if you want, if you don't know how to restore it, you just go to backup and restore, and you click restore, and then you click um, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it Touchless 5.0, okay. Anyways, um, you will get the gestures I made, okay. And here I'm gonna tell you the gestures, because I have Nova Prime. Swipe up if you want. Um, here it is. Swipe up with two fingers if you want the dock. Swipe down with two fingers if you want a notification bar. Just swipe down anywhere. Here's your notification bar, and swipe up if you want your apps. Um. Um. What's that again? Pinch out. I don't really know why. Pinch in. Show. Show previews. And finally. Oh. And. Circle counter. Uh, I mean, circle clockwise. It will take you to settings right here. Look. Yeah, this is settings. And circle and circle counter clock clockwise will take you to Nova settings. Anyways, and finally, double tab for your recent apps. Okay, so you can just close whatever apps you want. Anyways, yeah, these are um, these are the. The things, um, what do we call them? I forgot. The gestures, okay? I'm not really good at English, that's why. Anyways, so you got the notification bar from your custom ROM. If you don't have a custom ROM, it's not really that big problem. You could still do it, but without, you won't have the TouchWiz notification bar and the TouchWiz, um, the TouchWiz settings. I always go like that, just like that. So you see the touch with settings. You could see the difference between the touch with settings and the system and uh, like the regular settings. Now let's go ahead and make our lock screen. By the way, you might want to need this right here. You see Galaxy S3. Uh, it doesn't focus. The one right here, Galaxy S3, Go Theme and Locker. We don't need the locker. You just need the theme. Okay. So right here, if you place this, like you have Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, if you, if you want, and then, then you got Google Voice. Sorry about that. You could just edit it and click here, then here, then click the icon pack, and then you will have at the very bottom they have this, just as voice, and then you could just call it um. You just call it uh, S voice. Here it is. Then you got S voice, but it's actually Google search. If you want, if you want it more like TouchWiz, and everything right here, the, the the animation right here and whatever is also also set by the the backup. Anyway, you need um widget locker for two ninety nine at the market, and here here when you pop up there will be widget locker, and then. All what you need to do is remove whatever you have. You can back it up, of course. Okay, now you gotta add. Just click right here. Here's the tutorial. Add an invisible tab. I will have the invisible tab in the description. The theme, if you wanna download it, it's transparent. All what you need to do is just click OK. Now right here, when you go like that, it's gonna open. Okay. So all you need to do right here is go right here. Um. Go to backup and restore. Put restore and GS3. Put OK. Then you will get this. You could add some custom apps down here, of course. You could just remove them. Here are my, fav my favorite apps, like the camera, if I needed it so fast. YouTube is like one of my favorite apps. Asphalt 7 is a cool racing app. And WhatsApp is a cool messenger. Now you just go like that, then you open it up. You could always check out. The Dandelion Live Wallpaper, if you want to download it, it's right here in the, in the Play Market. Um, you just go ahead and... Sorry about that. It's called Galaxy S3 Live Wallpaper. 
live wallpaper. It's called Dandelion. I think it's always the first one. Dandelion, not Dandelion. Dandelion. And they got they gotta be installing it. Anyways, now it's installing. Let's give it a second right here. And it's installed. Anyways, right now, hold down the screen. Go to wallpapers. Go to live wallpapers. And if you if you want your life to make it make it your life easier, you could find it here. Then dealing in live wallpaper. And you could always hide it. Set wallpaper. If you want to save your battery, follow those settings. Flying seeds quantity less. I mean, yeah, less. Size small. Speed slow. That's if you want to save battery. Um, rotation okay. Touch okay. Water droplet no. And that's if you want to save battery on your phone. Not right now, just click. Not right now. Not now. Let's set it as a wallpaper. Now you now your Android phone is a Galaxy S3. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching right here. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, links will be in the description. And this theme is really cool. Um, I know I've made my like like a main theme, and I'm gonna be making a new one soon. I'm, I'm gonna be posting it on this channel. If you watch me from the Dark Perry 77, um. Uh, please make sure you subscribe if you subscribe to the dark baby 77 then make sure you subscribe here because there won't be any more videos on the dark baby 77 all the new videos will be here and thanks for watching everyone see you on my next video which I don't really know what might what will be and thanks for watching again see ya I'm scared I forget so much to tell you did I forget something no, that's pretty much it. See ya.